Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I am in my control panel of my website hosting and I actually have hosting with host, uh, HostGator. Now I can have unlimited websites so I've installed a few and um, I am just going to go and install a WordPress um, onto one of them now. So what I'm going to do is press on this icon here. If I scroll down, there's all these different sections. And I'm going to press on Fantastico. Right? Most C panels have Fantastico. If you don't, you've got the wrong hosting. Because this is fantastic. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on this here, WordPress. Right, now it shows me what installations I've got here, which is a fair few. And now I want to do a new installation. I'm going to press on it. Okay, now it wants me to choose a domain name. Okay, now I'm going to choose woodfordnewspaper.com. Alright, and then it says install in directory. Now, if you just read a bit further on, it says, it tells you what it means. Now, I don't want to put it into a directory, I want to put it straight into the root of the actual website. And that is what you usually do. Okay, so go down further. Now you type in a username and password here. And this username and password is going to be what you're going to sign in to with um, WordPress into your dashboard. Now this is how you're going to get into your dashboard. Okay? Um, let's get rid of that. You need to put your email address in there. So we'll just put one in there. Everyone knows that email address. Right, let's make the site name <coughs> Woodford newspaper right um, you don't need to put a description in you don't even have to put a site name in um, admin nickname now the admin nickname is when you do a post it'll say posted by mitts okay because basically that's the first user you start off with is yourself um, and You've got to put this in here. I'll just make up one and just change it later. Right, so now I'm going to press on install. I just moved it down just so I could put the password in. I don't want everyone to see my password. Press on install. And then it'll come up with all the details and press on finish installation. And that's it. Okay, it's on. So all I have to do is press on here now. It's given me the link to it. <coughs> and now I just um, sign in. go and this will take me oh oh maybe I typed my password wrong <coughs> try again yep all right Now we're in. Okay. Now this is the inside of the website. And this, if I click on here, it says visit site. See how that comes up? I'm going to right click on it and say open in new tab. So I've got the 
behind the scenes here, right? And then I've got what people see here. Now this is a WordPress website and this is what you see. This is what everyone sees on the internet, okay? And this is what we see behind the scenes. Now, if you want to change the theme, which is really easy and make it look professional or something, um, there's another video for that. Just go and search for it. <coughs> I'll just show you. There's another theme that I did before. Uh, there's another website. Now, this is a WordPress website. There's nothing wrong with it. It actually just looks like a normal website. You can make them in all different ways. Okay? Now, they're quite good. I, they're not like blogs anymore. They're professional. They can be anything you like. There's so many templates out there. Alright, um, thanks for watching. I hope that helps.